So this is an interesting case that I, I just saw right before we went, went on air here. The New York Times, it says, two women filed lawsuits in, on Wednesday in California, alleging that George Foreman, who's the uh, former world heavyweight boxing champion, sexually abused them when they were teenagers in California in the 1970s. According to the lawsuit, the women, using their pseudonyms Gwen H. and Denise S. to protect their identities, initially met Foreman when they were under 10 years old through their fathers. One man was a boxer, sparring partner of Foreman, while the other was a boxing manager and longtime advisor to Foreman. Foreman then groomed the girls for several years, according to the complaints, before forcing them to have sex with him in places ranging from a San Francisco health hotel to an apartment in Beverly Hills. The two women, who are both in their early 60s now, filed the complaints in Los Angeles, uh, Los Angeles County Superior Court. Um, representatives for Foreman referred uh, inquiries about the lawsuits to a statement that he released last month. And he says that this that they're trying to extort him. They've been trying to extort him for years. This is a false claim, and he denies it. Now, you, you read this story, and you think, are, are there... Of course, I, I don't know if this, if this happened or not. Um, these are claims dating back 50 years. And so you read that, and you think, are there no statute of limitations here? How can you come out 50 years later? Now, if something did happen to you when you were much younger, when you were a kid, it's, it's understandable that kids who are victimized don't, don't, oftentimes don't want to come out right away because they're, they're, they're afraid, they've been intimidated. That's part of the conditioning and the grooming. But like, once you get to an adulthood, at, at a certain point, you have to say, if you, if you wait, even, not, not just waiting 50 years, you, you've waited like 40 years into adulthood. And now you're saying something at a time when it's just impossible to prove one way or another. It would be impossible to do. It's also impossible to, if you've been, you know, if you're, if the claim is false and you're being falsely accused, it's impossible to vindicate yourself. It's just, it's just a claim. So how can you wait 50 years? Should there not be some kind of statute of limitations putting some urgency on this saying, if, if you've been victimized, we absolutely want you to come forward but you can't wait half a century to come forward because there's nothing we can do with the claim at that point. Well, you would think that, but actually, California changed their law re relatively recently. They changed it in response to the Me Too hysteria. And um, according to the law that went into effect back in 2020, um, they extended the statute of limitations. They extended it broadly just across the board. But then they also basically extended it indefinitely because now, according to their law, you have, you have to come forward within five years. If you're, if you're claiming you're a victim, you have to come forward within five years of discovering an injury. So that's the way they have phrased it in the law. Which if you don't think much about it, 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 it sounds like, okay, well, five years, that's okay. That's, that's not that long. That's, that seems fair. Well, but they're including psychological industry, uh, injury rather. So five years of discovering a psychological injury, which is another way of saying that you have forever. There is no statute of limitations because, yeah, you could walk into a psychiatrist's office when you're 65 and say, I'm traumatized by something that happened 50 years ago, and that's it. That's all you have to do. And now you've got five years from that first meeting with a psychiatrist to file a claim. Um, and it, it should come as no surprise, by the way, that as soon as California put this uh, law on the books, or rather it's amending what, what, you know, the currently existing law, as soon as they amended the law, there was, there's just been a rush of claims like this from people alleging that they were victimized decades prior. Um, it's just obviously total madness. Uh, you know, you, it's, it, there's not an exact science here of what, of what the statute of limitations should be, but I think any thinking person, any rational person would agree that 50 years is just way too long. Maybe, you know, maybe like five years into adulthood. I think that might make sense. Just, or, you know, something between five and 50. Well, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get more content like it. If you're craving more content, go watch or listen to my full show at dailywire.com, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.